This is going to be a tutorial for importing and using audio within Maya. This is for when you need to lip sync characters or music to the animation. So to start, within Maya, go to File and import the audio file you want. Once you do that, take a look in the timeline and you will see the audio file has been imported. Now, when you press play, you will hear the audio file. There is one issue that does arise on some occasions which is when the imported audio file is not in sync with the waveforms during scrubbing. What you need to do to fix this, if it happens, is to press the play button and let it go all the way through so it is cached in the system. Then scrubbing should be appropriately synced. At this point, you look at the timeline, you see the audio file, which is quite small. You need to see the waveforms to help during the animation syncing, so we need to increase the size for better results. To do this, you will need to open under Window, and then Settings and Preferences, then Preferences, or simply press the Animation Preferences button down on the bottom right of the screen. Make sure under Categories that you are in the Time Slider selection, change the height from 1x to either 2x or 4x for your preference. I will do 4x here. Then make sure Playback is set to 24 frames per second for the audio to play correctly. Now, save your preferences. If you need to select the audio file, simply right click the timeline, go to sound and select the track that you need. Now you should see the time slider four times its original size. The next thing to do is also about your preference. I like the audio waves to be more visible and stand out, so I will change the color of the waveforms. Go under the Windows tab, then Settings and Preferences, then Colors. Then under the General tab, select the drop down for Animation, Click on the color for sound and change the color there. I will change mine to bright yellow. Make sure to save the color preferences. Now I will pull in another audio clip to work with. The timeline then changes. At this point to work with a specific audio clip, again right click the timeline, go to sound and select the one you want. If you need to offset the audio so it sits later in the timeline, then select the dialog box next to the audio clip name. Enter a value where you want it to go, and the audio file will begin there. Also, if you need to mute the clip, there is a mute checkbox slightly down in the attribute editor for the sound file. Another reminder is that when you move your audio file, it could potentially be uncached, so you might need to play the animation again to cache the sound. To conclude, here are several ways to delete an audio file. First is to simply type delete the audio file name in the mail script editor and select the execute button. The other way is through the outliner. Under display you should uncheck the DAG object only option and then you will be able to find the audio file in the outliner. Now you can simply select and delete. And last is to go to the edit menu under delete by type then sounds and select the audio clip you want to delete. At this point we have no audio in our file but we have figured out how to pull it in and take it out and manipulate it within Maya. I hope this tutorial was helpful, and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me.